All right, we are back. Thanks for joining us for another episode. And I'm back to using the plurals again. Oh, geez. Um, right before we got to the dock, we noticed there was some treasure underground. So we went and got it. And um, we're just about back to report to Seinbert. I'm pretty sure that, that was the guy. The priest guy. I don't remember his name. Ridiculous. But yeah, he's right over here. There's my boat. I might just swim in the rest of the way since I'm close. Maybe I can punch a fish while I'm at it. Punch a fish. Can't see him. Where are they? Hmm. Slippery fish. They win this round. Um, angsty Eivor does not do daylight. Let's switch as soon as we can. This is much better. Yes. We're all about the aesthetics oh, you now. Try my ale sometime. You must. My abbey brews the best in Kent. It certainly sounds worth the risk of my immortal soul. Ah! Your god is rather a hard taskmaster. And your god forbids the mixing of wool and linen. It sounds to me like he's never heard of England. <laughs> Not all that is written in the scriptures is God's honest truth. I do a roaring trade at Reculver and Tunbridge. They pay well for my catch. The monks? Do those parchment-skinned Christians ever eat meat? Don't you believe in Jesus? They refrain because he died for our sins. Fancy no one will stop me long. sucking the marrow from a nice leg of lamb. Not even God's seed. Well, I hope eternal damnation is worth it. All right, a lot of jibber jibber. Eivor, you have news? Kent's new elderman will be Thane Tedmund. Tedmund? Oh, the Lord is testing me. He is made mouse by you Danes. Barely leaves his fortress at Rusister. How might I gain his influence if he will not speak to me? Or to anyone? It is a puzzle. To inspire loyalty, Tedman must owe you something. Such as his life. Go on. A fortress stormed, a man kidnapped. If you beat back his enemy, saved him from sure death, his gratitude would... Swell. It would know no bounds. But that fortress will be harder to pry open than a nun's knees. Perhaps. Yeah. Beast. Perhaps not. Are you hiding something, Batham? There is a lumber mill nearby, correct? Bemisfield. Alfred invests much in fortifying Wessex, and uses our forests to do so. The mill provides his wood. Tedmund is there. Impossible! How do you know? I heard rumors that Tedmund had been lured out of self-exile to manage work on the fortifications of Canterbury. Taking him from a lumber yard is less dangerous than assaulting a fortress. But your rescue attempt will not have the same flair. Is it worth it? It may still work. Yes. Yes. Bring him to the Megaliths. And Fulke? When I have Tedman's fealty, you shall have Fulke. Now go. I will rustle up a small rescue party. One more time, I'm telling you, if he says my boots are dirty or my hair needs combing, I will split him open. You're full of swap gas. No, no. You'll do what you want. Oh, Over here. This is a bit silly. I mean, this guy has got me running all kinds of errands. He is self-serving and evasive. Can he really deliver full cake? The abbot is a friend of full case. That is clear. So long as he doesn't suspect our motive, we may have a chance. Indeed. This brings to mind a story. Perhaps you've heard of it. Mm -hmm. The Scorpion and the Frog. A children's story? A cautionary tale. The Scorpion wants to cross the river, but he cannot swim. So he enlists the help of the frog. 
The frog agrees to carry him on his back, extracting a promise that the scorpion will not sting him. Let me guess. The scorpion reneges, blaming his nature, and both drown. The scorpion crosses the river and stings an innocent man, killing him. So what does this tale tell us? That your stories are clouded and their meaning doubly so? It shows that every tale has a thousand possible outcomes, many of which are surprising. If the abbot does not deliver Fulke, he will die at my hand. And we will continue our search. A sobering approach. I don't see why we don't just threaten him and, you know, beat it out of him like we do with everybody else. Like we did on his mission. Just ahead. Lead. I will follow. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get the information to where the emissary was, we just threaten people. So we get the information where Folke is, just threaten this guy. Show me. I hope this chase will catch us a plump hen. Once the abbot has Tedman's gratitude, he will deliver Folke. It will cost us nothing more than this. If that leaden wit keeps his word. Ah, you prefer to work in the shadows. And I only say that because I'm a Viking. Like, if it was a different type of game, I would be a little more down for whatever, running all these guys' side quests. All right. This is fine. Let's watch. Is Basil fighting? I kind of want to watch him fight. I do want to get those Arbalists though. Where are they? There he is. Where are they? Dude, these guys are not <laughs> That was one of those things. I'm just gonna sit here and stab, and if you get close and I stab you, it's your fault, not mine. Yeah. Oh, the shield stayed in place. Yeah, watch, watch Basim's doing some cool moves. Whoa! Yeah. Flip. Flip daggers. Nice kick. Are we done? Let's just, let's chill. We're looking for Tedmond. Have a look, Sunin. Probably in this big house. We could try our new fancy sleep arrow ability. Or we could just be seen by the first person and get in a big fight again. I'm trying to take out this guy here. Use my ability since he saw me. Use my quick swap bow technique, which is inventory, click, 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 close. I should not be seen in this area. I can hear him talking. Oh man. Oh man. Good enough. Assassinating this guy for sure. Talk about getting the drop on someone. <laughs> All right, you're coming with us, buddy. We're gonna punch him. Stab him one time. I am not who you think I am. Let me go. 
Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Live? Oh, saints, protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> Flee, my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, take him with swiftness, and escape without anyone on our heels? We hide in plain sight. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader yourself, you cannot deny that subtlety and intrigue are a cloak you must wear. How many of your clan know the true circumstances of... Eivor, we were speaking, Eivor. How many of your clan know <laughs> the true circumstances of Sigurd's absence? Hmm. You see my point. A leader must know when to speak and when to stay silent. For silence is not always a lie. It can feel like one. You truly embrace the concept of hiding in plain sight, eh? To its very fullest. As I do in everything. Foreshadowing that he's a bad guy. And his hiding in plain sight is being with us right now. We good? No, I guess we're not good. We were supposed to bring him to the rocks. Go, my eyes. That's why, like when following quest markers goes wrong. When it's like, okay, I just ran to the quest marker was pointing me, but now nothing's happening, and now I don't know what to do. Yeah, target must be on the ground. Complete objective. There, he's on the ground. Done. Yeah, Bassum. Bassum, actually. Yeah, we're done. See, I think it was. He said something about the rock area. I think it's. We need to bring him here. All right, now we'll place him. Maybe, maybe this is a save reload situation. Maybe we'll try the rocks. Maybe the horses are, hey, Batham. You want to ride? All right. That's pretty quick. Did any say the megaliths? Oh, there's a bear in here. Let's let the bear eat Tedman. Eat him. No, not us. Him. Oh, not us. Come on. Bear. I couldn't pick up the bear, I tried. Well, I don't know. Show me what lies ahead. <coughs> there are other, um, like little rescue quests, side quests that I've done, and they've bugged out before, too. We'll try this again. Drop them. I'm just gonna reload. See if it doesn't. Feel like something's not triggering. Cause aren't they supposed to like do a fake rescue now? I think that's not triggering. And this is what happened before too when I did the rescues. Is uh. When I reloaded, the person reset to their original Go! position. It's fine. Best brace, my 
I'm guessing he's still tied up. Careful now. Yeah, he's still tied up. Oh. Come on, horse. It's an unfortunate place for you to be. Alright, check. No room for you, Batham. Get out of here. You're running. Pretty fast. King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. We have your man. Now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood, I, I am not Thane Tedmund. What in heaven's name is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. I, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedmund pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar, you are far from Augustine's priory. I, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tedman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tedman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us, then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let, let me think, let me think. Oh, Danes, T -t to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tedmund, I, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusester. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first. I, I am still Tedmund to the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nornia knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll send word when we're ready to capture Tedmund. And this fool? He knows much of our plan. He'll come with us. And if he betrays me, I'll roast his balls over a roaring fire. You will not regret this. My wily ways and quick wit will cease the need for bloodshed. I still might kill you yet, man. If your prattling doesn't cease. And... The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. Those five but soldiers? how does one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born... Eivor, stay close. Go! Are you ready? I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone else. I should have stayed on God's chosen path. What well, took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I am not a good forgery. Still tears bled in my hands, sweat, and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah, the cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. <laughs> we are too late. There is great horror here. 
Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This hammock will get us all killed. You murdered our people, men, women, children. Hide down, you dogs. You're slaves of Kent now. Tedmund, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedmund, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect, Lord, but I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes? And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue, sister? You, uh, do not, sir. A wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... <laughs> as a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. This small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps I could be a l leader of men. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale awaits! Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders! Tied up like animals. I need to free them. I need to shoot an explosive arrow into all those guys. Eat this. You will. The thrill of the chase. Him. He's got they a battle boy. Patrick's. He's got a battle boy. What are you doing with it? What are you doing? <laughs> I feel like I run away. If I can put him to sleep. Did it work? Oh no. I'm totally after you. I'm gonna assassinate him. with you now. Nah. 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 In the foot. Oh, I missed. In the foot. Oh, I missed again. Is he invincible? He's invincible. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I picked up my arrows. That's a nice uh, yeah. skill. They don't break anymore. friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. And now's your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I would gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. 
Giedrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. We need ships, Runa. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Giedrich and the men of Oxenifordshire will need them to hide their mercy and origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift will be all the greater. And they will know justice with our victory. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Giedrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta with the ships. Ah, but Cunibert must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. That gives us time to drink. You've traveled so far to carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Mid. <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? Not even I them? Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters along. Without Sigurd, I would have... I would have... There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. They bewilder you. They can cause you so much worry. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. And if you're lucky, they replace you. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Basim. He was taken from me. By someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man trust with anything. But a man you trust with anything can take everything. He took all I had. All I had. With the chain down, Gidrich and the ships can get through. Rusesta will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Oh, that was a nice scene. Some good voice acting. And when they go to that extra cutscene, the animations get like smoother and the faces uh, are more empathetic. Well, it's night time. I got my hood on. I got my Mad Max look going. Time to witness me. Yeah, and that'll be the end of this episode. Um, like always, appreciate you. Take care.